Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys solar systems but before we get into today's video guys I'd just like to make a quick note about uh, when you submit your systems as I've just actually filmed one of these for a system that had four objects in it only four objects I managed to get through it in less than one minute which obviously isn't enough to really put out as a video or even feature so please note if you are going to submit simulations please can you make them of a decent size please because four objects I mean yeah I opened the simulation and all the stuff was in front of me straight away and I, yeah I got through it in less than one minute so please can you submit stuff that has larger file sizes or just larger amounts of objects in it because four objects isn't enough uh, if you ask me and yeah I mean I've just scrapped the recording because it was just absolutely tiny so please can you submit larger simulations because yeah, otherwise it'll just be... I'll just have to scrap it because, I mean, it isn't large enough to really show off as a video. So, yeah, please can you uh, just keep that in mind when uh, submitting your simulations. Uh, make them larger. Make them bigger. Put more stuff in them because four objects is... Yeah, it's, it's too small. So, yeah, please uh, keep that in mind. But with that all said and done, let's actually get on to today's uh, simulation. So, anyone who knows Star Wars will probably recognise this name. So, we're checking out a simulation called the Coruscant System today. So this is from the user Universe in Discord, so a massive thank you for them to uh, for sending this simulation in. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. So it's a workshop simulation, so let's go ahead and open it up here. And there it is. Okay. Cool. All right, come on game. All right, what have we got? Okay, so Coruscant System, the capital of the Republic and the Empire. Oh, oh. Oh, it's that weird thing again. Oh, my, I cannot stand that. It is so, so annoying. The capital of the Republic and the Empire, Coruscant is the birthplace of mankind in Star Wars and remains a significant world. Even though humans have shipped Coruscant of its natural beauty, it is still a jewel in its own right. So there is Coruscant. So it's the planet which is entirely a city. And oh my god, that's so annoying. Go away. Oh my god. So every time I like scroll near a planet, it does that. But yeah, there we are. So it's the planet which is all cities. If you've seen it in Star Wars, the entire thing is one big city. There's no natural sort of looking areas left. It's all just a city. So yeah, there is a uh, Coruscant. So moving on, we've also got the Parker Space Probe down here. So there it is here. Oh my God, it even activates it for that. Oh my God, that is so annoying. But yeah, there we are. So there is a Coruscant. So the planet, which I'll see is a, uh, all a city. So there it is there. Then we have Syntax 1. So let's go ahead and close that. So, oh my God, please leave me alone. Oh my gosh. Right, guys, I'm just going to see if there's a way to disable this, so just be uh, be right back. All right, everyone. So, unfortunately, I've, I've scoured through the game settings. I cannot find any button to disable um, that, unfortunately. So, I've asked in their Discord um, for the meantime. So, hopefully, um, we can find out for future reference. But, yeah, my God, that, that feature is annoying. So, anyways, let's continue. So, we'll just have to live with it, unfortunately. But, yeah, it disables all the atmospheres and stuff. So, we'll just have to keep clicking off it, which is really, really annoying. But, yeah, there we are. So, we've got Syntax 1, which is a moon orbiting Coruscant itself. So there is that one. Next up, we've got a Voyager 1 spacecraft. We've got a few of those, so obviously I don't need to approach them. We know what they look like. Then we have Syntax 2 out here, so it's another moon orbiting. So we just keep it at a fair distance. We should be able to... Yeah, so there it is there. It's also losing a bit of material by the looks of it. You can see... Um, yeah, there's definitely material being lost. I think if we click play... Yeah, yeah, there's definitely material being shot out from it. So, yeah, interesting stuff indeed. Okay, but let's just go ahead and pause it again. So yeah, there's Syntax 2. So that's the second of the moons around Coruscant. Right, then moving further out, we've got Syntax 3 out here, which is another another moon. It's looking uh, it's looking pretty nice, this one. So actually, we can look underneath it. We can actually use that feature and actually... Yeah, so we can actually preview underneath. So you can see it's mostly ocean. Got a few bits of land as well. Obviously, zoom out again. All the atmosphere goes away. And it also has a Tesla Roadster orbit in it. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. And then next up, we've got Hesperidium over here, which is another... Cool looking more. That's actually a Titan surface underneath as well. It looks quite good with the blue atmosphere, actually. So, there it is there. Also got some city lights in orbit as well. Cool. So, here's Hesper... I think that's Hesperidium. So, there we are. Moving out, though. Okay. So, we've done all the Coruscant planets. Let's actually go to the star itself. So, Coruscant Prime, the star in the very centre of everything. So, there is that. And it also has a second planet orbit in it as well. Revice or Revis over here. So, that's obviously um, getting pretty scorched up by the star there. Then we got a uh, Plateroil, Plater Plateroil over here. So that's the closest planet to the star. Obviously, very, very dead here. 44 degrees. So it's uh, not the coldest or warmest of all planets, but it's got a, obviously a warm enough temperature there to 
keep water really a bit warm. So there we are. Then we've got Vandor 1 over here. So next planet out, so we've got more of a green planet. Obviously, no uh, no really unique features, actually. It's just a rock in orbit of a star. There's no atmospheres or anything like that. Then we've got Vandor 2 over here. So another, another just all rocky planet. Oh, my God, that green... What activates that green background anyway? I mean, why does it go so green? That is that is really weird. But um, yeah, there it is. Maybe it has something to do with the uh, where is it? The zones. I don't know actually. Then if it doesn't, oh, that is weird. I wonder what activates that green. That is strange, right? So Vandor two. Then we have Vandor three over here. So here's this one. Oh, so this one's actually a planet with a uh, life on it. Okay. Of course, it's got city lights, nice earth light conditions. Uh, we'll have a little look at its stats. Actually, why not? It's a good looking planet, 89.9 and 59.5, very nice indeed. Honestly, I'm quite surprised it's taken uh, someone this long to submit a Star Wars themed solar system, I have to say. I mean, what, we're on episode, what, 280 odd now? I can't even remember the number, honestly, but yeah, we've done 280 or 270 odd previous systems and no one has ever submitted a Star Wars one, which is very, very bizarre. I would have thought... Um, more, there'll be more like-minded Star Wars fans out there. I mean, I'm quite a big fan of Star Wars. Um, and yeah, it's cool to see um, someone's actually built um, the system in the game. So, Or one of the systems in the game. Obviously, Star Wars has loads and loads of planets. So, yeah, pretty cool, though. I, I like it. So, we've done Vandor 3. So, now hopping out. We've got this planet here. This has a lot of stuff around it. Okay, so it's a, ga oh, it's a gas giant. Okay. So, it also has some uh, moons. So you've got like a nice blue titan like one there. Uh, the next moon over here. Well, I mean, we'll hop onto them if they've got any unique features. So uh, we'll have a look at them all up in the menu up here, though. So there they all are. So it looks like they're mostly generic spawns. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any, uh, they're not all customized. This one's got some customization, though. So you can see it's an all uh, cloudy up well there, looking good. And then we have uh, another planet out here that's got water but no atmosphere. So that's quite a weird one. And then the rest of these are all got pretty inclined orbits, as we can see. So they're not even named. So yeah, they're just all all asteroids, really. So looking good, very nice indeed. All right, next up we've got uh, Stentat over here. So another, um, yeah, another uh, gas giant world here, as we can see. Also got some moons around it, obviously all generic ones. Uh, there is a more interesting object over here, though. So it's another uh, Earth-like world, no atmosphere on it, though. So it is losing that material. But yeah, there it is. So that's uh, Lepide. Cool. And then, there, yeah, the rest of these are all just generic moons. So there are those guys. Coruscant Prime Ring Particle. I wonder what that's doing down there. Oh, that's part of the asteroid belt thing, actually. Never mind. And then we've got Improco over here. So that's a, another sort of a rocky planet. It looks a lot more frozen up, though. Minus 212 degrees. So, yeah, a bit chilly. And then it has uh, a moon as well to go with it. So, yeah, two, uh, two white um, snowy-looking worlds frozen up. So there's that. Then we've got uh, Nabatu over here. So this one does have an atmosphere on it, as we can see. You'll see it's going to be quite a cold... Oh, my God, go away. But it's going to have quite a cold-looking uh, world, as we can see. So it's got a bit of a uh, bit of polar caps in the north and south. Looks like it's got a bit of like a cold sort of forest on it. Not any water, but it looks like it. Minus 30 degrees. It is pretty far away. So there is that world. Looking good. Right, and then moving on. Uh, we've got... Ulebos over here, Ulebos over here, and it's got a nice ring system as well. Check it out, nice. So that's obviously uh, looking cool. Yeah, nice. I like I like this sort of uh, extent or inclined ring system as well. That does look really cool. Looking good. And then lastly, we have a comet cluster out here, or Orboros comet cluster. Oh my god! Right there it is. So. Obviously in complete darkness, but obviously we can use that surface feature to actually have a view of it. But yeah, there it is. Cool. Okay, so that does it for the Coruscant system. So obviously Star Wars themes, so pretty cool. So let's get just a full lineup of everything in here. So also we've got two gas giants. Then we've got obviously the bunch of rocky planets. Coruscant itself is in there as well. It actually has an Earth texture underneath it, surprisingly. <laughs> so there it is there. Obviously um, in the... In the uh, Star Wars like films and stuff. It is mostly a, a sort of a, a black looking planet with obviously loads of sea lights. It's all industrial, is it? So grays and blacks, um, day or night time. That's what it will look like. So yeah, they've got the color scheme uh, fairly well, I'd say. And then obviously onto all the other objects. I mean, we just viewed all of these guys as well. Looking good. And what is all this about? Whoa. Where's all this material from? Let's have a little look. Where, where, whereabouts is? 
Oh, okay. Uh, so this uh, this uh, planet here, or well, this moon, is losing a lot of material. Look at all that, all those fragments being uh, thrown out there. Okay. I thought I saw some, like, a dark-looking area when we were here earlier. So you can see, yeah, it's losing... Yeah, all that, all that material behind it. That's losing a lot of stuff. So, yeah, there we are. But that does it for... For Chorus Solar System, guys. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Uh, any Star Wars fans, let us know if you if this meets your approval, I guess. And yeah, Coruscant Prime. So yeah, that is um, yeah pretty cool. I enjoyed it. So yeah, massive thank you to the user who submitted this. That was the user universe in Discord. So massive thank you again. And yeah, guys, if you'd like to submit your own systems, please make sure to put them so they have at least a good ten planets in them. Because yeah, the the one I've just filmed before this, which I've just scrapped, they had four objects, which is just way too small. So yeah, please submit larger stuff so we can actually have a good amount of time actually checking it all out. Otherwise, it's not really much point um, at all. So yeah, please keep that in mind. And also, if you'd like to submit, join my Discord server. The link in the description where you can uh, upload your systems there. But with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.